The Cher Show, Wicked, Miss Saigon, Play Miss, Heathers, Assassins, The Last Five Years, Mean Girls, Hamilton, Spring Awakening, Jamie Wellerstein is trash. <laughs> These aren't real people, Amy. Hi, how are you? I hope that you're very, very well. How are you doing? God, this is going on a long time, isn't it? It really is. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about my least favorite characters in some of my favorite musicals. I could talk about this for days, and at first I was like, God, this, this is actually really hard, and then my goodness, I wrote a lot, and I was like, I could make a year long of videos of these, because I think it's quite interesting. And this isn't saying that I hate these characters, or the people who play them, obviously not. People have this weird fascination with like, least favorite things, or things that people don't like. She's like, fair enough, you know? <laughs> I know a lot of people as well come to my channel for Starkid and Glee stuff and yeah I love Glee and I'm really enjoying doing the Starkid thing but I also am very aware of the people who subscribe to my channel who don't like those things so I really do want to mix it up and just make sure that there's something for everybody there. I'm not saying that the Glee videos are going to stop or the Starkid ones are going to stop but I'm just going to mix it up a little bit more because I feel like I've got a bit stuck into this like tunnel you know? That being said, my name is Amy and I make theatre content on YouTube. So anything from Glee to Starkid to Broadway to whatever. So if you like musicals, hopefully you might like me. So please do feel free to subscribe if you would like to. I'm also very active on Instagram on stories specific. I kind of vlog my days over on stories. So if you're interested in that as well, follow me on Instagram. Yeah, let's jump into it. I just started jotting ideas and my goodness, I just, I had a lot. Okay, let's start with Mean Girls. My least favorite character in Mean Girls is Miss Norbury. Sorry? I just feel like she's really sarcastic, which is obviously like her thing, but I don't love her. As I say, this is nothing about the people who've played her because Hello Kerry Butler is an icon, Tina Fey is an icon and obviously she originated the role and, and wrote the role. But yeah, Miss Norbury never vibed with her. Specifically in the musical, she's just kind of sarky but she's not really like sarky enough to be like super funny. I don't know, not a fan. Okay, let's talk about Spring Awakening. If you don't know, Spring Awakening is probably my favorite musical. If somebody was like threatening my life and said, Amy, tell me your favorite musical, or I'm gonna kill you. I would probably say Spring Awakening to be honest. It has a lot of memories and I just love the show so I find it hard to fault it and I had to really think about this but probably Honshin is my least favorite character in Spring Awakening. He makes me feel really creepy. Obviously he's got his whole thing with Ernest and as much as I was like, it's nothing to do with the people who played them. Yeah, maybe it is down to Jonathan B. Wright just being so creepy in like, and not him, I'm not being mean about him. What I mean is like the way that he plays him. When he's doing the word of your body reprise with Ernest, and he goes, I love you, Hodgson, as I have never loved anyone. And so you should. Oh, it makes me feel does anybody else get that? I don't know, maybe just me. <laughs> but that's how I feel. I don't know, and Honshin is like, he's very stern, isn't he? And he's quite scary. <laughs> okay, I think the next one is gonna really annoy people because my least favorite character in Hamilton is Jefferson slash Lafayette. I'm sorry. And again, I think David Diggs is great. Cannot wait to see Hamilton when it comes out on Disney Plus on July 3rd. Cannot wait. But having seen the show, I just always dislike Jefferson and Lafayette. I just dislike them. I, I don't specifically have a reason why. I think I maybe don't like their songs as much. There's a lot of quite heavy rapping. And also, you know, what did I miss at the top of Act 2? I'm just not a fan of that song. Hi. Yeah. But I will say Thomas Jefferson has the best clothes. That purple outfit, mm -mm -mm, it's lovely. Next show I'm gonna talk about is Wicked. I don't talk about Wicked much on my channel. And I think it's just because it's, it's something that's like there, it's always there. So it's not like, let's talk about a Wicked revival. And I don't know, I don't know why, because I used to love Wicked. There was a time when I owned every single item in the Ausdust boutique. I was like a Wicked stand back in the day. Honest to God, hardcore. 
He's so cute. So yeah, when I don't talk about Wicked, it's not because I don't like it. But my least favorite character in Wicked is the wizard. I'm sorry. The wizard is so annoying. <laughs> And I'm sorry, Sentimental Man. We do not stand that song. I am a sentimental man. Oh, it's just a bit... However, do you know what? I really like Wonderful in the second act. Wonderful, they called me one. I love that song. <laughs> but A Sentimental Man is a no-go for me. It's like, skip past it. Come on, next song. Therefore, The Wizard is my least favorite. And do you know what? He's just not a nice guy, is he? He's just not a nice guy. Okay, let's talk about Les Mis. <laughs> I love Les Mis. Les Mis is one of my all-time favorite shows. Obviously, like, who doesn't love Les Mis? People who say they don't like Les Mis are just trying to be different. It is a bit long, but I love it, you know? But my least favorite character in Les Mis is Cosette. And that's grown-up Cosette, not young Cosette. And you know what? I have to say, when they changed her costume, you know, she used to wear the black and white costume with the big bonnet, and it was like, hun. It's a bit drab. Are you going to a funeral? No, you're not, so get out of the black all the time. I mean, I say that, but I wear a lot of black. Do you know what I mean? It was just very drab, and it's like, she was just annoying. And also, I really wanted Marius and Eponine to always get together. I was like, Cosette! Go away! Go and fancy something else! Get with Dangerous or something! <laughs> These aren't real people, Amy. But yeah, older Cosette was never a fan of. When they changed her costume in recent years, it kind of lifts it a little bit. She looks a bit fresher, a bit nicer. Surely I can't just dislike someone because of their outfit. Whatever I am! <laughs> and it's because I wanted Marius and Eponine to get together. Let's talk about the last five years. Right, this I could actually talk about for a very long time because the last five years is obviously a two-person show. And I was gonna say, because I was like, oh, you can't really say one or the other. And at first I was like, oh, Elise, who actually isn't in the show, but is the character that Jamie cheats on Kathy with. And hmm, I was like, why am I blaming the other woman? I should be blaming Jamie. People are very split on their opinions of whether it was Jamie or Kathy's fault that the relationship fell apart. Me personally, I think that they both just like drifted apart. They probably weren't right for each other. However, Jamie was the one who like cheated. He was the one who made it so that they wouldn't really be able to come back from it. And therefore, Jamie Wellerstein is trash. I still love his songs though, don't get me wrong. Oh my God, I love the last five years. I love it loads. Okay, let's talk about Miss Saigon. Again, a show that I don't talk about massively on my channel, but I actually prefer it to Les Mis. I would say it's my favorite Bubba and Schomburg show. They are the composers, if you don't know. And I adore Miss Saigon. The revival opened in London when I was in my first year of uni. And me and Charlotte spent basically an entire summer getting up really early, day seated. And we saw it a lot of times. It was because we just loved it. The show is beautiful. It's Stunning. The music is gorgeous and the performances in that revival were ridiculous. Even though Blizzarda is insane, she's so talented. But my least favorite character has always been Chris. I know that everybody loves Chris, but I personally, I don't get it. I always think he's such a wet blanket and it's like, Chris, you really, really could have sorted it out so that you stayed with Kim, but you just went off to America. I know that lots happened and I know it wasn't easy, but I personally think that he should have stayed. He should have stayed. Maybe it wouldn't have worked out, I don't know. Anyway, I just think he's a bit soft for my liking. You know? So yeah, Chris has never been my fave. Okay, Assassins. Again, one of my favorite shows. I love Assassins. It's by far my favorite Sondheim musical. I love it because I really love history as well and specifically like true crime history and Assassins like really gets that. Because if you don't know, it's basically chronicling the assassinations and attempted assassinations of American presidents and it's fascinating. But my least favorite character, I mean, they're all attempted assassins or assassins themselves. So they're all not great people, but my least favorite character is Leon Sholgosh. He's always so serious. He goes on these like very long rants and he was like, was he a bottle maker? I should know this. I was literally in a production of it. Leon Sholgosh is like 
t too serious man. I mean, they're all quite intense because they're all murderers, but he like always brings the mood down because obviously it's all of these different people that are in the show are based on real life people and they were all in different times, but they kind of bring them together in this kind of assassin waiting room where they have all of these scenes, they're coming together and people are going off fine and then Leon Sholgosh will really go off on one on his own and you're like, why are you bringing the mood down, pal? Sholgosh has never been my fave. What else have we got? The Share Show. I love The Share Show. <laughs> oh my god, right. Somebody did a TikTok basically saying like, whenever I hear somebody talk about Cher or The Cher Show, I just hear Amy Lovett saying The Cher Show in a really bad American accent. And I was like, I do it on purpose. I can do an American accent very well. Look at my covers. I, I'm very good at an American accent. It's one of the only things I can do in the world. But <laughs> people are always like, no, oh, it's Amy Lovett's really bad American accent. And it's like, I'm doing it as a joke. Anyway. <laughs> the Cher Show. <laughs> okay, my least favorite character in The Cher Show is Lucille Ball. I know that's like blasphemy to say to American people because they love Lucille Ball. She wasn't like as massive here. I mean, people know who she is, but she wasn't like, she's like America's sweetheart, isn't she? And everybody loved her. But her character in The Cher Show, I just, no. Always skip a song. No, thank you. Moving on. Next. Not a fan. I mean, I have only seen the show once and now I just listen to it on my cast recording. So I don't remember massively what she did, but I remember that she won't my faith. <laughs> Okay, and my last one is in Heathers. My least favorite character in Heathers. I had to really think about this because I wasn't sure that I had one, but I think it is Heather Duke. You know, the Heathers are horrible people. You know, Heather McNamara was a bad person, but she also was a small bean, so we have to stand. That was such like a Gen Z sentence. <laughs> And like Heather Chandler was a bad person, but she was a bad bitch. So again, we have to stand. Whereas Heather Duke, meh. I mean, don't get me wrong. Never shut up again. Actually slaps. And it is such a good addition to the show. And I love her costume change. Right, but can we just, can we just take a little side note and talk about her costume change, right? I love the costume change, but they needed to change her socks. You cannot put Heather Duke in a red costume with green socks. I'm sorry, you can't do it. Red does go good with green at Christmas and like people with red hair wearing green clothes looks really nice. A red blazer and skirt and green socks. That had to change. Um, but yeah, Heather Duke, she's just annoying, isn't she? <laughs> All of these are like, I just don't like them. I give the worst excuses. But anyway, that is my list of characters that I don't like. <laughs> Please let me know which musicals I should do next with my least favorite characters from. I might also do my favorite characters in my least favorite musicals. Let me know if you liked it and who your least favorite characters are in those musicals as well. And I hope that you're all well. I hope you're looking after yourselves and your loved ones. And I will see you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.